If you're looking for uh, high ceilings, well-proportioned rooms, beautiful uh, architecture, and high-quality construction at a really great reasonable price, we have one word for you. Vintage. Vintage. Hi, I'm Ward Nipper. And I'm Kyle Harvey. And today we're here in one of our vintage listings on Lakeshore Drive in a beautiful building that was built in about 1922. Um, and we're talking about all things vintage. When we say vintage, we're referring to the buildings that resulted from the development boom in Chicago uh, in the 1920s. At that time, uh, banks, architects, developers, um, all came together, and at the same time there were zoning changes that allowed for all this development along the lakeshore. When we say vintage, we're referring to the buildings that resulted from the development boom in Chicago uh, in the 1920s. Chicago has a rich collection of these buildings, all located along the lakefront of the city, right along the shores of Lake Michigan. At that time, uh, banks, architects, developers, um, all came together, and at the same time there were zoning changes that allowed for all this development along the lakeshore. The buildings were designed to give jazz age Chicagoans a sense of an in-town house. They were used to living in houses, and these apartments gave them that sensibility. Sort of like our favorite building, one of our favorite one buildings. Ours, yes. Yeah, 1550 North State, which is a beautiful building in the French style. Um, it's uh, sort of looks like a wedding cake on the outside, and each uh, unit has a unique floor plan. The other thing un that's not unique to that building that's typical of most of these vintage buildings is that it overlooks Lincoln Park, and many of them were developed to look at the lake, as this one that we're in today, um, or at Lincoln Park. So watch our next video on more about vintage properties in Chicago. Oh.